In terms of diversity and inclusion, yes. what, what would you say are the primary calls to action, both on an individual level and also on an organizational level? Like what should individuals like, like you and I do, or you know, individuals within companies that may not necessarily be in a position of power, think about as well as uh, those, the organizations themselves? I think now that I'm running a company, I realize that many employees have much more power than they think they have. First of all, nothing stops you from going to your CEO, to your manager, to your manager's manager and having a conversation about anything. And if they really are a good person, a good employee, they will listen to you. There's, it's just a human conversation. And I think people really underestimate the impact they can have when it comes to changing policies and culture by just speaking up. Right. And then from an organizational perspective? I think from an organizational perspective, leaders have to lead by example. So publishing diversity data and treating it like a business objective means that you're taking it seriously. And if you do that, then your employees will also take it seriously. So you got to lead by example, you know, top down. That's right. But all, as you mentioned, we all have a responsibility, regardless of whatever level we are, to push diversity and inclusion forward. 